Ooh, cold today. So um, I'm out here at Durham Skate Park. It's been a long time since I've skated uh, this skate park. Actually, I take that back. I skated with my friend Jonathan uh, a few weeks ago, uh, but it was super quick and super early. We didn't really skate much. Today, I actually do want a session. It's the first dry weekend. We had some pretty torrential rain and power outages and wind this week. Uh, but today is nice and dry. The sun is out. It's just cold. It's in the 30s, which if you know me, you know that I don't like to skate in the cold. <laughs> I usually just stay indoors. But it's been so long since I've skated any street, um, or I guess I could say outdoor skate park. Um, I felt like I had to take advantage of the weather. So I am still on the Adapts. I love the Adapts. They are my favorite skates. Uh, I've never skated the Adapts here at Durham, so I'm not sure how they're going to hold up for grinder blading. But as far as skating mini ramps, skating transitions, things like that, they feel amazing. Uh, super responsive, super great for soul tricks. Royals are a little difficult because the cuff is a little stiffer than most cuffs. But that's where I think today is going to be a really good test to see if I can do all of my tricks here with a really stiff cuff and still get boot down on my Royals. I'm also super happy to announce that the new 5050 anti-rocker wheels will be shipping next week. These are the wheels that I've been testing for, I don't know, a few months now. Um, I tried all different sizes and uh, styles and I figured that the best anti-rocker for me is uh, a UHMW machined 47 millimeter anti-rocker with bearings. So these things will spin inside your frames. You don't have to worry about getting stuck on transitions or scraping on the ground if your wheels get small. They roll like regular wheels. They are machined out of a solid block of UHMW. Uh, they come with bearing spacers so they'll spin freely and they have a nice laser engravement. You can't really see it, but a uh, nice little laser engraving on the edge. The uh, the wheels come in this weekend, so I should be packing them up this week and then shipping them out next week. Um, could probably go to the website to get more information. I don't know that the website's going to be updated until I get the wheels in, though. So it depends on when you watch this. Odds are you probably won't see anything on the website, but next week you'll definitely uh, be able to take a look, learn a little bit more, and uh, place your order. I only have a few a uh, dozen coming in the first run. So if you are interested, make sure that you order early uh, so that I can make sure that I get them to you. Otherwise, it's gonna be another month or so. All right, time to go skate. Oh, it feels good to be back. I haven't skated this park in a long time. Um, I tell you what, so after skating those, I was on the M120 wheels for a while, the dual Duro, 91 outside and like 75 inside, something like that. After skating those for a month, I'm at a point with, that I know these wheels pretty well. These are the uh, 5050, 58mm, 88A wheels so much better um you know i don't think that they have as much shock absorption i think that the m1s noticeably when i do little airs i can tell that there's more shock absorption on the m1s but the maneuverability that i get with this 58 profile the face like flat bullet profile um it's so much better i mean it feels like Again, I, all, all the haters can hate as much as you want. I feel like I'm skating flat. I can turn that quickly. Um, it's really, you know, the profile is just perfect for that. Um, if you haven't tried it, you know, even, even if you don't want 58s from, from me, get the 60s, uh, like some Rossi's or some ground control wheels uh, or the, uh, the Josh Acosta wheels. Um, those are gonna be the same profile, just in a 60 mil, uh, slightly different urethane, but, that profile, I think, makes all the difference. These feel these feel amazing. Um, like I have control over my edges, which is crazy to think with any rocker on a large frame. All right, let's try some grinds.
need a little wax, but slides okay. Um, I forget how slow, <laughs> how slow it is to get up to it. Um, anybody who's been here knows this little turn in front of the ledge, it's just brutal. It is like the worst 90 degree turn from a run up that you could ask for. It's easier coming from this direction. So I can slide, you know, switch soles, but yeah, trying to get a soul trick, it's really hard to keep that speed going. Uh, so a little bit of wax helped. All right, groove tricks, let's try some Royals. Oh, I just love skating in a rocker. I love skating at Durham. This park is just, it's home, you know? Like I feel so confident I can just charge this ledge. I know it's not the craziest ledge, it's pretty low, but I just have that, I don't know, I've fallen enough here to know that I can just do it, you know? I don't have to worry about it. Um, getting that back Royale, it's difficult because we don't have the speed, but that last one, I feel like I landed it pretty solid. Squashed down a little bit. Probably could ride it a lot further. That's one of the one of the tricks that Andy Rucker really shines. I, I, I'm pretty good at back royals, but I have a really difficult time doing it on flat setups, you know, with wish frames or maybe even Aeons. I haven't tried Aeons in a while, but Andy Rucker really, on back royals, really makes them feel good. And back Barb. Um, I mean, whatever speed you've got, you can really just push it in and just squash it and it'll just balance here, especially with all the wax I put on it. All right, uh, I'm gonna try some top sides. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. I haven't been able to do top sides in a long time. And it just felt normal. Um, it felt normal with what I consider to be fairly stiff cuffs. I, uh, I'm shocked. Uh, you know, it, it, top acid felt great. Um, it felt great. I felt like I was on top of the ledge. I felt like I could ride it for a long time if I wanted to. Kind grind definitely didn't feel great, um, but hey, I'll take it. I mean, first try in a long time and uh, I actually landed a little bit and slided a little bit. That's, that's huge for me. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed with myself. All right, um, I'm gonna go find some other ledges here to skate and uh, uh, see if I can uh, See if I get that Royale on this rail back here, uh, this handicap rail. I think uh, I think I can get it today.
Royale has just killed me. My left leg is pretty tired. So probably won't be doing Royale on this rail, but I think I'd finally nail it. My uh, down rail, uh, down ledges, I haven't done Royales on down ledges in a long time. Um, you know, everything's been coping or everything's been flat. So getting that adjustment, getting the balance right, took a little bit of work. Uh, zero porn, uh, I don't know, just tired. It's been a long time since I've skated street like this. I keep saying street, it's, it's like this isn't a skate park. It is a skate park, but it feels like street because it's down ledges, it's outdoors versus indoors at the factory skating mini ramp. This feels more like street. Anyway, um, last trick. Uh, so this month's uh, Blading Community Challenge is the X Grind. I have not done an X Grind in a long time, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, X Grind is, you know, uh, one foot sole foot, the other foot top side sole foot. Um, if you're doing it on a rail, it's like it makes an X. And I don't do them very often, so I'm going to give it a shot. This is a trick that I'm not really good at. I'm going to try it with a sole foot back. Uh, and then uh, top side foot in front. All right, that last one felt as good as I can get it, I think. Um, it's a really awkward trick for me because I don't really know where my weight's supposed to be. I do it as a, very similar to an acid sole. Um, I do it with a lot of weight on my back foot. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting super topside on my front foot. I feel like I'm, I am topside, but I'm not really like, like top acid topside. Like if I picked up my back foot, I would be rolling, you know? Like, I don't feel like I would slide. Um, but it counts, and uh, I'm gonna try again. Next time I go out to a skate park or get a chance to skate, I'm gonna try again and improve it. Because, uh, yeah, I think I could do better. I wanna try the back foot one too. Back foot top side, that's a weird one. Um, it might be very similar to my mistrial, which I'm actually really good at, so maybe I should try it. But next time, I'm pretty tired now. Um, if you wanted a uh, Fitty Fitty hoodie. So the new Fitty Fitty hoodies just came in. If you pre-ordered, uh, orders went out yesterday. Um, if you ordered with backpacks, as soon as backpacks clear customs, we'll be shipping them out. Um, we have a few left over, so uh, you can go to fittyfittyframes.com uh, and uh, shop and figure out uh, what size you want. Uh, this is a large, I'm wearing a large. Uh, I usually wear a large t-shirt. Some people say they're a little tight, so you might wanna Get a size bigger if you want. Uh, if you're a shop, uh, you should be getting them in uh, the next week. So uh, they'll probably ship out with the uh, uh, anti-rocker wheels next week. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week.